Harry Huxold, the president of the Southeast Action Forum, says the house on 12th Street that saw fire trucks in front of it three times this year is just the tip of the iceberg. He says property owners all over Southeast are allowing them to end up like this. Dealing with vacant properties and what we call slumlords is the most prevalent problem we have now. Another resident, Dwayne Howard, showed me a burned out house on 8th Street. He says the decaying structures have a ripple effect. My home value has plummeted like like everyone else's. We, I can't tell you how many people, including myself, we would love to move and, and get out of here if we could, but we simply can't afford to. We can't uh, get any fair value for the home. After responding to this latest incident, the Roanoke Fire Department confirmed arson is on the rise in southeast. Well, this year we've, uh, we've identified that we've had six intentionally set fires involving a structure, outbuilding, and or vehicle. Uh, that compares to five last year. The evidence of the problem can be seen dotted through the neighborhoods, like this burned out house on Dent Avenue, or this one on Stewart Avenue that was ruined in a fire on Thanksgiving in 2015. Huxold says the problem persists because no one is holding the owners accountable. It's a situation where we've gotten the least amount of cooperation from the city on trying to fix. I literally had to fight with the city in trying to get it boarded up because we uh, discovered children, saw children playing around uh, uh, the house. Uh, they could fall through a floor. Huxhold says his group, the Southeast Action Forum, has worked hard with the city to eliminate crime. But unless the neighborhood is worth living in, he says all the progress will be lost. We've cleaned up everything else, but until we clean this up, we're not going to get people to come in and invest money in this neighborhood. And that's something we desperately need here. Well, I did speak with the city to try to find out what the policy is for requiring homeowners to make those repairs, and staff directed me to a section of Virginia code that reads, quote, the notice shall require correction of the violation or violations within a reasonable time unless an emergency condition exists. Huxhold and Howard tell me they believe that reasonable time limit should be less than a year or more in some cases. In Roanoke, Rob Manch, WSLS 10.